What's up, guys? Eli here, back for a movie review. Today we're going to be talking about The Gorgor Girls from 1972. Um, I have this 2000 version uh, released by this, uh, I don't think they're around anymore, but this kind of boutique uh, DVD label called Something Weird Video. Um, they're kind of one of those boutique, you know, video, uh, you know, DVD labels that, you know, kind of predated stuff like Vinegar Syndrome and, you know, stuff like that that we have nowadays. Um, most of them weren't quite as nice, you know, back in 2000, but uh, I have a movie and that's fine. So, The Gore Gore Girls was directed by cult director uh, Herschel Gordon Lewis of uh, The Wizard of Gore and Blood Feast fame. Uh, and speaking of Blood Feast, uh, that movie is considered uh, by many, just to let you know if you were unaware, to be the first ever slasher film. It's from the uh, what, mid or mid to late 60s. I can't remember the exact date. And Lewis is commonly referred to as the godfather of gore. He also directed a, a bunch of sleazy type films that were pretty uncommon for the time. I mean, I wasn't alive in the 70s, but just from my knowledge of cinema, um, <laughs> his movies were, were quite ahead of their time. Uh, is, either way, the dude was a maverick film director and a total legend in his own right, and his influence is still felt to this day. Now, watching this movie in 2023, it's incredibly hard to imagine this coming out in 1972. There's a shockingly violent and bloody scene right at the beginning of the movie. Now, I'm not an expert on such genres, but uh, I don't know if you could consider this an American giallo film. But Herschel Gordon Lewis had to have had taken inspiration from those Italian uh, giallo films, uh, you know, from the 70s, what with the, you know, the black coated and gloved uh, killer. So in the Gore Gore Girls, you have a sleazy private detective hired by a reporter to investigate the murder of a, a local stripper. And as he begins his investigation, more strippers around town are being murdered on an almost daily basis. Uh, they're just dropping like flies, man. Uh, this is very much a slasher and gore film. Uh, you know, the murder scenes are extremely brutal for 1972 again. And uh, each victim is tortured in different ways before they are killed. And it is, it's graphic. I mean, throats are slit, eyeballs are cut out of faces, you know, nipples are cut off with scissors. Uh, this is gory even by today's standards. I can't imagine the shit this movie must have stirred up back in 72. And that's where you have to give credit to Herschel Gordon Lewis for pioneering these types of films. Without him, we may not have had directors like Toby Hooper or Wes Craven or Clive Barker. And for those of you that are into sleaze and gore, I can pretty much completely recommend this. There's plenty of nudity and shocking violence to interest really any fan of these types of things. And if you like this one but are unfamiliar with the work of Herschel Gordon Lewis, uh, I'd say don't stop here. You will probably want to check out stuff like The Wizard of Gore and Blood Feast just to begin with. I'm going to give the uh, Gore Gore Girls a 6 out of 10. Uh, the storyline, to me at least, uh, was not super engaging, and the movie uh, relies, you know, uh, way too much on the nudity and gore to keep your attention. But uh, that's just my opinion. What do you guys think? Is uh, have you seen this movie? Are you familiar with the work of uh, Herschel Gordon Lewis? Uh, let me know, and uh, we'll talk soon. Uh, Louis says hello. He's taking a nap down there, but uh, fucking cheers, guys.